Unit 1 Periodicity of Elements and Their Properties Lesson 3 Main Groups in the Modern Periodic Table In this lesson, we will study three groups in the periodic table, which are Group 1 or 1A, which is called Alkali Metals Group 2A or Group 2 which is called alkaline earth metals group 7a or 17 which is known as halogens let's start with group 1a or alkali metals they are named alkali metals as their elements react with water forming alkaline solutions as you can see if we have two atoms of sodium plus two molecules of water, they will form two molecules of sodium hydroxide and the hydrogen gas will evolve. Sodium hydroxide is considered alkaline solution, which changes the color of litmus solution into blue. They are located on the left side of the modern periodic table and they are the first group of S block. This group contains the following elements Li, lithium, Na, sodium, K, potassium, Rb, rubidium. CS, cesium, and finally, FR, francium. We won't talk about FR or francium because it is a radioactive element or unstable element. Properties of alkali metals. They are good conductors of heat and electricity. This is lithium, which is a good conductor of electricity. Sodium also is a good conductor of electricity. Finally, potassium also a good conductor of electricity. So all elements of group 1A are good conductors of heat and electricity. The second property is most of them have low density, where Lithium, sodium, and potassium elements float on water surface, as you can see from the following video. But rubidium and cesium elements sink in water because they have higher density than water. The third property is they are monovalent elements. In other words, their outermost energy level contains only one electron. For example, lithium, its outermost energy level L contains only one electron. Sodium, its outermost energy level M contains one electron. Potassium, its outermost energy level N contains one electron. So elements of group 1A are monovalent because its outermost energy level contains one electron. The fourth property is they tend to lose their valency electrons and change into positive ions. Each carries one positive charge. For example, this is lithium atom. During chemical reaction, it will lose one electron and change into lithium ion. This is sodium atom. During chemical reaction, it will lose one electron and it changes into positive ion, carries one positive charge. This is potassium atom. During chemical reaction, it will lose one electron and it changes into positive ion. The fifth property is they are active elements. So, 
they are kept under the surface of kerosene or paraffin oil. As you can see, if we try to remove the outer layer of rust from lithium, we will see that the layer of rust will be formed again. This is because lithium is active element, so it will react with atmospheric oxygen. The same is done with sodium, but in a faster way. Potassium forms a layer of rust faster than that formed in sodium and lithium. The sixth property is the chemical activity increases as the atomic size increases, where cesium is the most active metal in the periodic table, whereas lithium is the least active metal in alkali group or group 1A. As you can see, this the last one is cesium, which is very active. The first one was lithium, which is active but much more less active than cesium. Reaction of alkali metals with water. As we said before, they react with water forming hydroxide or alkaline solution. In case of sodium, sodium reacts with water forming sodium hydroxide and the hydrogen gas evolves. In case of potassium, potassium reacts with water and the potassium hydroxide is formed and hydrogen gas evolves. Give reason for sodium fires are not put off with water. This is because sodium reacts instantly with water and the hydrogen gas evolves which burns with a pop sound. This ballon contains hydrogen which is collected from the reaction of sodium with water and as you saw it burned with a pop sound. Let's talk about the second group or group 2A which is called alkaline earth metals. They are located on the left side of the modern periodic table and they are the second group of S block. This group contains the following elements Be, beryllium, Mg, magnesium, Ca, calcium, Sr, strontium, Pa, barium, Ra, radium. And we won't talk about Ra or radium because it is radioactive or unstable. General properties of alkaline earth metals. They are good conductors of heat and electricity. For example, if we have a piece of magnesium, as you can see, it is a good conductor of electricity. Also, they are malleable and ductiles because they are metals. If we have a piece of calcium, also it is a good conductor of electricity. So, all elements of group 2A are good conductors of heat and electricity. All elements of group 2A are good conductors of heat and electricity. The second property is all of them have a higher density than water. So as you can see, all alkaline earth metals sink in water. The third property is they are divalent elements. In other words, their outermost energy level contains two electrons. For example, beryllium, its outermost energy level L contains two electrons. Magnesium, its outermost energy level M, contains two electrons. Calcium, 
its outermost energy level n contains two electrons. So all alkaline earth metals contains two electrons in their outermost energy level. So they are divalent. The third property is they tend to lose their valency electrons and change into positive ions. Each carries two positive charges. Beryllium atom, during chemical reaction, it will lose two electrons and change into beryllium ion, which carries two positive charges. Magnesium atom, during chemical reaction, it will lose two electrons and change into magnesium ion, which carries two positive charges. Calcium atom, during chemical reaction, it loses two electrons and it changes into calcium ion, which carries two positive charges. The fourth property is the chemical activity of these elements is less than alkaline metals activity. So they are not kept under kerosene or paraffin oil as you can see. They are active but not very active like alkali metals. Their chemical activity increases as the atomic size increases where Ba is the most active metal in alkaline earth metals while Mg is the least active metal as you can see we have four test tubes each test tube contains magnesium, calcium, strontium, barium and the number of hydrogen bubbles in case of barium is more than that in case of strontium is more than that in case of calcium is more than that in case of magnesium. So barium is more active than strontium, is more active than calcium, is more active than magnesium. So magnesium is considered the least active metal in alkaline earth group. Reaction of alkaline earth metals with water. If we try to arrange them in a descending order according to their chemical activity, we will find that Barium is more active than strontium, is more active than calcium, is more active than magnesium.